Hey, what's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Truth. This is Kicknology, and today we're gonna be talking about some shoes that should not be sitting. We are in a time, we're in an era where sneakers are just they're sitting, man. And I don't know if we can call them bricks, but some of you guys might be calling them bricks. But I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on some shoes that should not absolutely should not be sitting and this is going to be a several part series so this is going to be part one but you guys comment down below interact with your boy let me know what shoes are sitting in your area and what shoes you feel like should and should not be sitting but without further ado let's get right off into it So we're gonna start off the list now. Let me tell you guys this, it's not gonna be in any type of order. Like it's not like one to five or whatever. I'm not saying that one is better than the other. These are just my opinion on shoes that shouldn't be sitting or shoes that I've seen sitting in my area. They might be sold out online, but locally they're sitting in places and I've heard people say that they're sitting. So number five on the list is gonna be a heavy hitter in my opinion. It definitely shouldn't be sitting. It's gonna be the Air Jordan 12 Cherries. Now, before you guys say that this shoe ain't sitting, just because it's sold out online some places, but if you really search for this sneaker, you can find this sneaker, man, whether it's grade school, adult sizes, or in between. I walked into my local mall here in Tampa and DTLR, they just did a full restock on them things, and they were sitting on the shelf. So I think depending on your location, depending on if you can catch the restocks, this is a sneaker that if this would have dropped, um, I want to say two or three years ago, automatic sellout. And I expected it to sell out this year. Like a lot of these shoes I'm going to mention, I really expected these things to sell out, but they did not. So number five on the list is going to be the Air Jordan 12 Cherries. Number four on the list is going to be another retro that absolutely shouldn't be sitting. It's going to be the Air Jordan 8 playoffs man i don't understand this one at all to be honest with you all predominantly all black sneaker classic classic sneaker just like the 12 but you can rock this one with a lot more attire you feel what i'm saying so i don't understand why this one is sitting but certain locations certain places this shoe is sitting on the shelves and on websites this shoe is sitting ready for you guys to cop now i haven't seen any of these shoes at the outlets i'm not saying that they're that bad but I am saying that depending on your location, again, you can go into a store and be able to cop this sneaker. All right, next is going to be one that you guys are going to be like, nah, that shoe, that shoe should be sitting. But the Air Jordan 1 High OG Royal Reimagined. I think that this shoe should not be sitting, in my opinion. I mean, I, I like the sneaker. I understand the whole suede concept, and I understand that we wanted the um, Chicago one lost and found type vibes for this one for the worlds and I, I get that and we still might get that but in my opinion if you don't have the ogs and you and you really like the colorway this is a good constellation prize i know people say the suede is gonna mess up on it but hey crap protect that we got so much technology to, to keep shoes clean it's just you know and we we watch when we wear our kicks you feel what i'm saying so i feel like that's not a good reason not to cop a sneaker especially right now when it's sitting it is sitting bad this is probably the the biggest I'm going to say this one is absolutely a brick, in my opinion. Um, I didn't think it would be, but this shoe is sitting so bad that I think people are literally calling it a brick. All right, coming in at number two is going to be a ladies exclusive that didn't come in extended sizes. And maybe if it came in extended sizes, maybe it would have done better. I know the extended size would have sold out. It's going to be the Air Jordan 1 High OG in the satin bread colorway. This shoe is clean to me. I feel like that... Um, you guys just ain't been messing with the material when it comes to different materials on the Jordan ones, but for, for the most part, I don't see what's the absolute problem with this sneaker, but this thing is sitting, bruh. This thing is sitting on websites, even the size 12 and women, um, sold out for the most part, but depending on what websites you look and when they restock, how hard you want to look, you can actually get this shoe and all these shoes are easily available, if not at retail, under retail on StockX and GOAT. So... The Air Jordan 1 satin in the bread colorway, another silk. Alright, so this one right here, I feel like you guys are going to agree. And I think it's starting to catch some traction because I think they're starting to sell out. The Air Jordan 1 Low OG Black Toe. This sneaker is absolutely fire. The material is great on it. It's A1. I have yet to done my review, but I will be doing it this week. Um, this thing is sitting on Hibbits and stuff like that. It's, it's a constantly being restocked. It's readily available. It's affordable on StockX and Go. It's just one of those sneakers, again, that if you want it, buy it, man. Buy it now because 
I, I used to say these shoes would gain some value, some traction. I don't know, man. I don't know how long it's going to take. So, resellers, be weary of buying shoes right now. If you're trying to get into the resale game, unless you can get stuff for, like, the low, low, it's very hard to resell these kicks right now. But the number one sitter today is going to be the Air Jordan 1 Low in the black toe color. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know about the ones that I said that are sitting. Let me know if they're sitting in your area and also comment below and let me know what shoes are sitting in your area and why. If you feel like they should or they shouldn't be. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, this is part one. I will be having a part two of shoes that are sitting around, man. And remember, please, please, this is just my opinion on whether these shoes should be sitting or not. I'm open to dialogue down in the comment section. And also, again, this doesn't mean that these shoes are considered bricks. This just means that they're sitting, man. If you like it, buy it, man. Don't let the media, don't let other people sway you into thinking a shoe is a brick if you actually like it. It's your feet. Rock what you want to on them. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, I appreciate you guys. Y'all already know what I'm saying. Rock what you like, not what's hype. And remember, everything we talk about, just bait. Or if you're going to share my faith. You guys be blessed. Love you guys. Peace. If they ready, we'll let you know if you should go and get them. We got fat, we got two, never slack on the